Hello my dear friends welcome to my channel i hope that you all are enjoying in learning html with me friends in our today's tutorial we will discuss about some of the important tags which we used in html language and along with the theoretical concept we will also going to discuss about the practical implementation of each and every tag so this is the html file which i have created and by the help of this document we will try to understand the concept of various tags which we will discuss in this particular tutorial let us start with the basic tags so first one is our html tag so html HTML is a root element of our HTML document and all the content is placed inside HTML tag. Now let's discuss about head tag. So head tag is used to define information about the document. Inside head tag, we define title of our web page and along with this head tag also provide various details related to styles and scripts. Now next is our title tag. So title tag is used to provide title to our web page. Let us first launch our HTML document in Google Chrome. So here you can see that in our title bar, we are getting the title of our web page that is HTML formatting tags. And this is the content which we have provided inside our title tag. Now next is our body tag. So body tag is used to define the main content of our document. So this is our body tag and whatever content which will be placed inside our body tag will be visible in our web page. So my dear friend, these are some of the basic tags which we used in our HTML document. Now let us discuss about formatting tags which we used in HTML. So formatting tags are those tags which is used to format the text without the use of CSS. That is by the use of formatting tags, we can directly format the text without adding additional style properties. My dear friends, in HTML, there are two types of tags. First one is physical tag and second one is logical tags. So physical tags are those tags which change the physical appearance of our text text in web page whereas if we talk about logical tags then along with changing the physical appearance of a text it provide additional information to the browser about the text so let us start with our first formatting tag that is bold text so inside the body of my HTML document, here I have used an H1 tag which is used to provide the heading in our web page. And this is the style property I have used so that whatever text I will provide inside my H1 tag will appear in red color in our web browser. So here you can see that this is the content which I have provided inside my H1 tag and this content is red in color. And here I have used an horizontal line tag. So this tag is used to provide the horizontal line in our web page. So here you can see that we are getting an horizontal line in our web page. And this is the paragraph tag which is used to define paragraph in our web page. Now let us discuss about our first formatting tag that is bold text. So my dear friends, this bold tag is a physical tag and whatever content which we will provide inside our bold tag will appear in bold in our web page. So here you can see that whatever content which we have provided inside our bold tag is appearing in bold in our web page. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is strong tag. So whatever content which we will provide inside our strong tag will appear in bold similar to our bold tag. But the difference between bold tag and strong tag is that a strong tag is a logical tag which provide additional information to the browser that the content which we are providing inside a strong tag is important. So this is how we can use a strong tag in our HTML document and whatever content which will provide inside a strong tag will appear in bold in our web page. In this statement you can see that practice is the best way to be a good programmer and here whatever content which we provide inside a strong tag is appearing in bold. If we talk about appearance then both bold tag and strong tag is similar but if we talk about internal implementation then bold tag is a physical tag whereas strong tag is a logical tag which tells the browser that the content which we have provided is important. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is italic tag. So here we have used an italic tag and whatever content which we will provide inside our italic tag will appear in italic in our web page. So here in this statement you can see that whatever content which we have provided inside our italic tag is appearing in tilted form. So this is how I can tilt my text by using italic tag. Now let us discuss about our next formatting tag which is emphasize tag. So similar to strong tag, our emphasize tag is also a logical tag and if we talk about the physical appearance of our emphasize tag then it is similar to our italic tag that is whatever content which we will provide inside our emphasize tag will appear in italic form in our web page. 
but it provides additional information to a browser that the content which we are providing inside it is an emphasized text. So if we notice this statement, if you are enjoying learning with me, then you can subscribe the channel. So here I want to emphasize on this text that is you can subscribe the channel. That is why I have placed this text inside a emphasized text. So I hope that you are able to understand about the logical meaning of our emphasized tag. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is mark tag. So this mark tag is used to highlight any text in our web page. So this is our next statement and here I have used a mark tag and whatever content which I will provide inside my mark tag will be highlighted in our web page. In this statement you can see that by watching this tutorial you can learn all the formatting tags. This is the content which I have provided inside my mark tag and that is why it is highlighted on our web page. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is underline tag. So if we want to underline any text on our web page then we can use our underline tag. So in this statement you can see that by pressing the bell icon you can get all the latest updates of my channel and this pressing the bell icon is the text which we have provided inside our underline tag. That is why it is underlined on our web page. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is strike tag. So this strike tag is a physical tag which is used to physically strike the content which we will provide inside our strike tag. So in this statement you can see that I have used an strike tag and whatever content I will provide inside my strike tag will be striked on our web page. So this is the content I can't do it I have provided inside my strike tag that is why it is striked on our web page and inside my mark tag I have used I can do it that is why it is highlighted on our web page. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is superscript tag. So if we want our text to be superscript then we can use this superscript tag. So if you read this statement then you will be able to understand about superscript tag. So in this statement I have used a superscript tag and its content is 3. Here I have used one more superscript tag and its content is 2. So in this statement you can see that volume of cube is side to the power 3. So here the content of our subscript tag is appearing in a level just above the level of our other tags. And here again I have used a superscript tag for our content 2. So here area of square is side to the power 2. So by the help of this statement I hope that you are able to understand about superscript tag. Now our next tag is subscript tag. So if we want our tags to appear in subscript then we can use our subscript tag. So in this statement you can see that this is the content which I have placed inside my subscript tag. In this statement you can notice that 2 is appearing in a level just below the level of our other text. So here water is also represented by H2O. So by reading this statement I hope that you are easily able to understand about subscript tag. Now let us discuss about our next tag which is delete tag. So this is a logical tag and it tells the browser that the content which we are placing inside our delete tag is deleted. So here you can see that I have deleted this text and on our web page it is visible as strike text. So if you read this statement then you will be able to understand about its logical meaning. I want to be a good programmer and here I have deleted this programmer text. Now let us discuss about our next logical tag which is insert tag. So if we want to insert any text then we can use this insert tag. So whatever content which we will provide inside an insert tag will be underlined on our web page. So here in this statement it is a logical tag which tells the browser that we have inserted some text and here we have inserted some text is the content which we have provided inside our insert tag and that is why it is underlined on our web page. Now my dear friends let us discuss about our next formatting tag that is small tag. So if we want our text to appear in a small size on our web page then in that case we can use a small tag. So here in this statement while giving presentation don't keep your text small. So this is the content which we have provided inside our small tag and it is appearing in small size. So while giving presentation we should not reduce the size of our content. Now let us discuss about our next formatting tag that is big tag. So if we want our tag to appear in big size on our web page then in that case we can use big tag. So here in this statement welcome to my channel learning and programming with Chetan. 
So here this content learning and programming with Chetan is appearing in large size on our web page. So my dear friends hope you are able to understand about the basic tags and the formatting tags which we have discussed in our tutorial. So stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel to get the latest updates.